Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for week commencing 26th of November 2018 from the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I hope you are Scorpio. <clears throat> so here are the cards. We have the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. And I also have pulled two Archangel Oracle cards for further clarification. So let's start with the two fives, the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. The Five of Swords can be about um, a hard-won battle, um, but you're actually beating people but then, you know, and it says that you've won a victory, but it's at the expense of relationships, <clears throat> expense of people liking you, the expense of having um, respect. So the, the message here is that this card can create instability, as can this card. This is about arguments, it's about bickering. This could be about challenges to you. This could be about um, challenging situations can be about negative situations, people wanting to bring you down, people wanting to keep you stuck. I know you're dealing with a situation and you're capable of dealing with a situation, Scorpio. And the question is, is it worth it? Is it not better just to see the situation for what it is and walk away? And yeah, you'll have clarity on this because the swords also represent truth and clarity. So the idea is that you will know the way to go with this situation and you just have to act accordingly. But you see how these people, they're almost like standing in a circle. And the idea is that if, if you start bickering, if you start engaging in arguments, if you start in negative um, traits, then you can go round and round in circles forever. And so you might win an argument, it might not be worth it in the end because it could cost dear friendships, acquaintances, uh, respect at work, um, you know, and reflect badly on you, regardless of whether you've won or not. So it's not about the winning, it's actually about seeing the situation for what it is and walking away. So if this situation happens this week to some of you, Scorpio, just be aware that sometimes it's not worth it. This could also be about a uh, competition, could be on the work front. And the idea is that do things that are right by you, right by other people, move forward with purpose and don't engage in, um, if you're asked to be, to, to be doing, um, providing certain things that are challenging other people or being put up against other people, just consider how much it's worth it to you um, because the idea is that you need to stand, have respect for yourself and have respect from other people. So to actually get past this situation, you need to really see the situation for what it is and move on. And I kind of think you do, you do find that balance again. This is a card of imbalance. These cards are about imbalance and stability. And this is about more stability. Um, so yeah, I mean, this could have been in the home, this could have been the workplace. Uh, so wherever this, it could be with friendships, for example, Whatever this is, you're finding balance again. This is a two. This is a balancing energy. Um, it can be you coming back to you. You see how this this arch, it's almost like you going on a journey and coming back to you, finding yourself again, potentially Scorpio, maybe having been pulled down by other people, maybe having had to get into bickering states um, with other people, with situations um, who make you feel less than, less than you deserve. Um, you know, who challenge your mindset, um, who, you know, this could be self-sabotage on the mind front as well. Um, yeah, this could be you self-sabotaging yourself. Um, from negative situations, people make you f making you feel unstable, people challenging you. And, yeah, you can't see your way past this situation. And the whole idea is that you find balance again. It could be somebody helping you. This could be the soulmate relationship that you're looking for or... You know, it could be new love. Um, after a state of instability, you're finding stability in somebody else. Um, but as I say, this could also be you finding stability in yourself. This is you uh, beginning to love and respect yourself after a time of difficulty. Um, so, yeah, it's very beautiful. And it also kind of shows a duality. Um, the duality that, that, that exists within us, in a way, Scorpio. Um, because, you know, we can be, we can have passion and we can also have anger. Um, we can have love and contentment and happiness, but we can also have um, discord and disharmony. 
so it is appreciating that and learning from lessons of the past to make you stronger and really unify those energies uh, rather than them pulling you apart rather than creating instability in your mind for example but unify them within you accept what's gone love yourself again appreciate other people could be a soulmate relationship like i said and um, you could be coming back to you as well finding yourself again finding your feet finding that balance making the choice to walk away this could be about choice as well so as i say yeah this is it is a great card of balance and finding that inner connection again that inner stability and that's exactly what the Ace of Cups is. This is kind of real stability, real emotional stability, real emotional centering. Um, and when you're emotionally centered on the inside, you project that stability on your external environment. And it's funny that this is below the Five of Swords, the card of instability. As soon as you find that emotional center, as soon as you realize that people can't knock you or rock you on the inside with your own head, you know, throw you off guard, throw you off balance, throw you into a state of turmoil in your head, in your mind, and you get control of that, then whoever is creating this situation, it could be negative people around you, negative situations, they have no longer any effect on you. And this is about recognizing that, recognizing the growth from self-love, from finding love, from doing it from the heart, yeah, doing it from the heart rather than just material ambition drive determination having a purpose from the inside first creating that new beginning creating that fresh new outlook it could be a new beginning in your mind i just love the way it's an eye here as well you know it's almost like um yeah i just feel for some of you it will be your internal mind that you calm here in this situation so yeah and as soon as you do that I mean, you have two cards of real success, achievement, attraction. You know, the Queen of Pentacles, being able to attract energy, King of Pentacles, about achievement. Um, yeah, this is about achievement, attracting wealth, uh, prosperity. This can be um, generating material security for the home. Um, this is also about abundance, as is this. I mean, these two cards are about abundance. You see, the peacock is absolutely about abundance in your life. And what is abundance? Material security, happiness, protecting your home, protecting your property, um, generating enough financial income to protect you and live a healthy and happy life um, by, you know, making the best of earthly um, achievements and successes that you can turn to your own advantage. So yeah, I mean, this is, this is all about abundance, happiness, real achievement and success. But it is, you know, it's waiting for you. If you snap out of this mindset, find your center again, find your emotional center and see your path you, uh, in, in front of you. And yeah, go for that. Um, you know, try and ground yourself. This is a very grounding energy as well. Ground, grounding yourself to see your ambitions to realize your ambitions longer term so yeah beautiful energies so i have two angel oracle cards the first is hello from heaven archangel Azrael. your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of worries and feel their loving blessings now the interesting thing here this this represents emotional um emotional stability and um, spiritual stability and physical you know emotional stability in the physical world as well so your inner and outer worlds being stable and spiritually as well in terms of your soul purpose and i just think this card um it could well be um yeah it could well be for some of you you could be being watched over by people who have gone over to the other side and um, so yeah maybe you are connecting maybe you do have some kind of protection I feel that this is some kind of protection around you and um, to protect you and move you forward in this situation and get you back onto the path of, of prosperity so yeah um, patience Archangel Jophiel your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize still they need nurturing and patience yeah this is all about nurturing 
The Queen of Pentacles is all about nurturing. The King of Pentacles is very much about looking at the, the facts of the situation and making it happen, um, you know, on the earthly plane. So, yeah, this is about once you have that emotional stability, emotional protection maybe, yeah? Um, yeah, you can actually see your goals more clearly for the future and improve your life for the better. So, I hope you enjoyed the reading, Scorpio. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.